Welcome back to another episode of Music Production School Online, which are quick tips and tutorials to make your music sound better. In this one, I'm talking about the dreaded, annoying Ableton Pitch Bend glitch, and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Now, in case you haven't experienced this yet, it's this weird glitch in Ableton where when I'm doing a pitch bend in MIDI, the next time I play MIDI, it's adjusted to that specific pitch. For example, I have a horn blast right here. This is actually my song, 67 Chevrolet Impala. You know, I'll show you a little bit. It's basically a song made about the car from the TV show Supernatural. So it's kind of like a rock dubstep song. So it sounds kind of like this. I'll show you a little bit. Oh, you want. Right, little like rock groove. And before that drop, I have a build, right? Very common in builds, you have a pitch bend. As you can see down here, I basically have this horn blast and it originally sounds like this. Kind of like that Hans Zimmer style horn. And what I decided to do on the build, as you can see, is then pitches up. So it looks like this. Right, now the weird thing and the annoying thing is that after doing that pitch bend, when I go to play the MIDI again, if you notice, like say I go back here, right? Because the first time this appears in the song, you hear this now. So essentially now the MIDI is adjusted to the pitch bend. So here's how you fix it. First thing you're gonna do is I'm gonna click in to the first time the MIDI appears within basically the song. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, I'm gonna click it. And then what I like to do is I like to do this. You don't have to, but I think it makes it a little bit easier. So I'm basically gonna create a fake section where the MIDI kind of starts playing, but nothing is playing yet, if that makes sense. I'm then gonna zoom all the way in, right? So you can see it's almost at negative four because nothing's playing right here. I'm gonna zoom in even as fast as I can. I'm gonna click one like there. It should say zero. Then I'm gonna click zero again, and then I'm gonna do this. So essentially what's happening is before the MIDI even plays, and remember to, in your envelope, make sure it's MIDI control and then pitch bend, in case you haven't selected that yet. So essentially what's happening is before the MIDI even plays, I'm seeing Ableton, hey, the pitch is gonna start at zero, go up to whatever, it doesn't really matter, and go back down to zero. So essentially, I'm resetting the pitch. So now, when I go to play the build again, I hear this. And next it stops there. Then when I go back here, you notice now it starts back on the root note. This is basically how you fix it. Now, one big thing and one big pro tip I have to give is that as you can see here in the track, the first time it appears, I'm gonna leave this here, right? Because what that does is it resets the pitch because especially like say if I bounce it out of Ableton and I was messing around, this pitch may be messed up. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Now, if you look at it, I have a build and then I have drops, I have a bunch of stuff going on here and then I have another one. So on this one, if you notice, if I zoom in real close, I'm gonna have to do the same thing. So if you notice, I already did it there I should probably push, push this back a little bit. So that way now, yeah, this pitch band affected here, right? So the next it stops there. But the good thing is the next time it appears, I'm gonna make sure that it's still at the root note as opposed to being adjusted. This is the call you want. 